What's up guys, this is your boy here, Judai Yugi. I'm just uh, gonna give you another Jade and Yugi deck profile, or Judai Yugi deck profile. Uh, this one's gonna be based on Elemental Heroes, so it's gonna be the E-Hero Turbo deck, or Elemental Hero Turbo deck. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we got, obviously, the E-Heroes we're gonna start with. So we're gonna start with Avion, or Featherman, Burst Lady, Clayman, Sparkman, uh, two Bubble Mans. In Season 4, Jaden has two Bubble Mans, so you can add uh, two. And also use, make sure to use his anime effect, which is, you know, you get to draw two cards when he's summoned while you control no other cards on the field. You know, it's uh, it's the more original way to run Bubble Man for Jaden. Um, then we got Wild Heart, Prisma, and Captain Gold. Uh, Captain Gold was never used in the show, but it was inside of Jaden Yugi's Duelist Pack. So if you guys want, you guys could definitely uh, use this card because the Duelist Pack was made for that character's deck. So any new cards that came out in it, you can use. So use Captain Gold if you want. Uh, next, we got Elemental Hero Necro Shade, uh, Elemental Hero Neos, and uh, Blade Edge for the high-leveled monsters and your go-to guys in the in the deck. Next we got uh, the non-E-Hero monsters that will support the deck and some that don't really support it. But uh, Then we got uh, Rockweiler. Um, it's good to uh, recycle your E-Hero slash polymerization so you can come back and fuse again. Uh, we got Dandelion. Uh, it's a good defensive card and allows you to have tribute fodder for you know your two ace monsters, so it's you know really good. Spell Striker uh, allows you he special summons himself. You attack directly, and you could use him as tribute fodder because he just special summons himself by banishing a spell card from the graveyard. Then we got uh, a card trooper. Um, you can use another card trooper if you want because he does have two. So that's uh, up to you guys to decide. Then we got Armor Breaker. This is a good uh, warrior equip since. All the elemental heroes or the majority yeah all of them are warriors you could summon him and equip it to one of them and then you know have some fun with his effect and pop stuff then we got necro gardener you gotta have that obviously negate an attack uh rallis the star bird this is a very old card but you know this this deck is for fun so if you guys want to try this card out you definitely can uh, then for the last monster we have uh winged karibo you have to have this. I mean, it's Jaden's partner in everything, so you gotta have that in there. All right, next we're gonna move on to the spell cards. So, uh, the spell cards are mainly gonna consist of fusion fusion cards as well as elemental hero support cards. So we're gonna start with two polymerizations. Gotta have your two polys, and Jaden does have two, so you can add it. Then you gotta have miracle fusion, obviously, uh, defusion. It's really good. You could go for OTKs or protect your fusions if you need to. Then we got Skyscraper, which you can also search out with Captain Gold. And we also have Skyscraper 2. He only used this one time, but it's a very good card um, that you can use that allows you to um, special summon elemental hero monsters that were destroyed by battle during the duel once per turn. It's a very good card. It allows you to recycle your hero monsters so that way you can keep using them all over again for fusions and stuff and other plays. And then we got uh, A Cheated Heart, E Emergency Call, uh, R Righteous Justice, and O Oversoul. Uh, once again, all hero supports. This allows you to burn, you increase attack, you allow, you can search an elemental hero with this, pop back row with R, and special summon more heroes from your graveyard with O. So that's the hero. And then we got Hero Mass. You could uh, use this as a fusion material card, to target one of your monsters, send the elemental hero from your dead to the graveyard, it'll take its name, then you could fuse with it, or you could just use it to send Necro Shade to the grave, uh, or you know, for miracle fusion plays or anything. That's how I usually use it anyway. Uh, then we got Fifth Hope as the last elemental hero support card. You know, gotta have that pot of avarice in there. Uh, then for the last two non support cards, we have Pot of Greed, so you could draw out your cards a little bit faster. Then we have Monster Reborn. Uh, obviously the special summon cards and then finally the traps uh, once again small number of trap cards we got hero signal we have mirror gate to reflect damage we have hero blast so yeah so you could bring back an elemental hero to your hand and pop pop a monster uh, then we got draining shield so that way you can negate an attack and increase your life points if you're pretty low uh, call of the hunt to bring back your heroes again and then negate attack so yeah, this deck is mainly focused on you know just um, getting to your heroes as fast as possible and 
fusion summoning as much as you possibly can while also, you know, knocking some hardcore damage with even even without fusion summoning, you could still do some pretty good damage with this deck. So it's really fun. You get to recycle and use it a lot. Um, next for the side deck, uh, we got uh, three hero kits so you guys could try this out. Um, he does have uh, trap cards that you could use with this card so that way you could search out elemental heroes or you know help you during battle. So fun if you want to try that out you definitely can. Then we got Dark Catapult which is a an old card but you can use it for fun you know enjoy yourself. Oh, we got Card Blocker it's just like Card Trooper but a defensive version of it. It's a bit risky because you don't want to send uh, all the um, all the wrong cards like Miracle Fusion and Poly to the graveyard. So you know, be wary with Card Trooper and Card Blocker because you may discard something you might actually need. And the final monster is Wing Karibo level 10. So obviously, it's a good classic Jaden card. You want to replace it in one of these cards and use it. Definitely do it, uh, and you know, have some fun with that. Uh, then we got Double Fusion. Uh, then we got Dark Factory of Mass Production which um, you can add two normal elements or heroes back to your hand you know then go for more fusion plays if you want then we got uh, transcended wings and we got uh, a flu of summoning Karibo so you special summon Car uh, wing Karibo and then you know evolve him and voila there you go then we got miracle kids and hero guard very good cards very important cards for the hero kid combo so you want to use that definitely can um, then we got um, change of hero reflector ray um, yeah, we got Elemental Mirage and we got Hero Barrier. So yes, uh, this is an anime card. Um, so you guys could make it yourself and print it or I actually have this card already made so I could probably send it to you guys uh, individually if you guys want or I'll figure it out and then give you guys accessibility to these anime cards so that way you could build the deck the same way I have it here and try it out. But yeah, so, and finally for the fusions, we have uh, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Elemental Hero Shining Flame Wingman, his evolved form, Thunder Giant, Rampart Blaster, uh, Mudball Man, Steam Healer, Mariner, Dark Bright, uh, Necro, Necro Shaman, uh, Wild Wingman, Plasma Vice, Wild Edge, Tempest, Elemental Hero Electrum, and finally Elemental Hero Neos Knight, since this is all warriors, you could fuse Neos with any of your other hero monsters and summon him, so it's very accessible, and this is exactly, exactly 15 fusion monsters, so this is a full-on extra deck right here, so, uh, and you have so many variation options to go for, so it's gonna be a really fun deck, a really fun deck to use, so I hope you guys enjoyed yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us if you enjoyed this. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you so much for all the subscriptions and all the people who subscribed and commented on our videos. We are currently preparing and working on all those uh, requests that we've had, you know, in terms of, you know, dueling opponents like Yuya versus Yusei and, and others that we have locked up there. So don't worry, we are working on them. It's just hard because of the traveling issues like we've discussed in the past. So bear with us, but in the meantime, we'll keep doing more of these deck profiles for you and other stuff. So thank you very much. Later, guys. Gotcha! We have Red Dragon Archfiend from Main Heart. We have Red Nova Dragon or Scarlet Nova Dragon. We have Majestic Red Dragon. Um, we have Crimson Blader and we have Explorer Dragon. Those are his extra deck cards. He doesn't have a lot of extra deck cards. Same that we only usually goes for Red Dragon Archfiend.